An American League battle, East versus Central. Yankees on the road as New York goes up against the Chicago White Sox. Next on 2K Sports. Live on 2K Sports Friday night, Major League Baseball. Hey, great to have you with us. What are you going to do today if you're the hitters? Well, they're checking out who's on the mound, Java Chamberlain. They love being here, and they're ready to cheer. Over 40,000 in their seats. The starting pitching will see Jared Washburn. So, Steve, uh, what's he going to be conscious of as he looks at this Yankees lineup? Now, Jared Washburn out on the mound, and this one to get a chance to watch the crafty left-hander do his work, commanding all of his pitches. He needs to work ahead on the count and throw the off-speed stuff for strikes to expand the strike zone. Now sponsored by Pepsi, this is how Joe Girardi's offense looks. And our scouting report, John, who are we watching for today? Well, Curtis Granderson's a very streaky hitter, and if he gets on one of those hot streaks, you can see some special stuff from him in this game today. He can take the ball to the ballpark. He can also hit a lot of extra base hits. And the most exciting play in the game, the triple, he's one of the best at it in all of baseball. First pitch of the game, it'll come to Derek Jeter. Now Yankees coming in, awful loss. They were hoping to take the series after splitting games one and two. They ended up grabbing one game only against the Blue Jays in Toronto. On his club has definitely hit a rough spot, just three wins in their last ten ball games. Strikes him up with a cut fastball for a strike. These are the kinds of strikes you do not want to go through. A couple of these, and all of a sudden, you find yourself in a deep hole. Well, in that deep hole, what that does is it alerts the front office that, hey, maybe we better get some different players in here to try to turn this thing around. There's no justice in this game. If you hit it that hard, you should get a base hit. But he hit it right at the shortstop, and unfortunately, he's back to the dugout. Base is empty with one away. Swung on, liner to right. And there it is. That's their first hit of the ball game. And now's a good time to take a brief look how the White Sox stack up defensively. Any scouting picks, Steve? Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a quality defensive player. Well hit towards the middle. The second, there's one. On the first, safe. Can't get the back end of that one. Well, they get the lead runner at second, but they just couldn't turn two. No, they wanted to. It's Alex Rodriguez at the plate two away. Hit sharply towards the hole. And that's going to be a base hit for Rodriguez. Now batting. Now a chance to check out where A Rod ranks in the league. Ninth in RBIs, tenth in home runs. And you can also tell that, that hitting in clutch situations does not really bother him. Ranked among the top 15 hitters in the league, hitting with runners. Lined right at the second baseman. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. Jared Washburn coming off the mound. Works his way out of the first inning without allowing anyone to score. It's going to be Java Chamberlain on the mound. He'll be the starter for New York. And uh, as he looks at this White Sox lineup, what are they going to see from him today? A Java Chamberlain out on the mound. He's a guy with an overpowering fastball when he cuts it loose. This one's grounded hard up the middle. And so Damon retired. Lineup for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. Thoughts, John? Anybody stand up? Well, all you ask from your players is to give them some consistency, and Johnny Damon throughout his career has done that. He's a guy that can hit for average. He can hit the ball of the ballpark if you make a mistake. The thing about it is he's a winning player. It seems like any team he ever plays on, they end up winning championships. That's what you need from a veteran like him. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. He's number one in runs scored in the league. Chamberlain gets him to swing and miss for a strike. Just a solid offensive player day in and day out. And a guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. And it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. If he didn't get a chance to see his last ball game, he came up with a solo shot. Took advantage of a pick. A swing and a miss. Strike three, but a chance at first. And there's the throw down to first base, and they got him. Nice play by the catcher. Time to get out of the crouch and get it over to first base ahead of the batter. Sometimes these things can get away from you. He did a great job keeping it in front. Good hustle and a great arm. And Paul Canerco to bat. He's the league leader in ribbies. There's a swing and a smash. This one towards Granderson. Off the wall. Canerco's going for it. 
And he'll stop at second base, and it will be a double. Well, he's having some kind of offense this season, Gary, really in the middle of everything this team's doing offensively. RBI opportunity right here for Carlos Quinton. A leading the league in home run. Really tries to lay into that first pitch, but he misses on one. 0 oh and 1. Chamberlain kicks and delivers. Off the wall. That Echo's going to try and score here. And the run gets in. Get to take a look at one here that probably should have ended the first base. Well, he had the burners on coming out of the batter's box around the first base. Great aggressiveness on his part. He didn't let up and he gets in safe. No indecision when he got the first base. That's how you get in safe to the second. And Beckham's in the box. And with the lead, this lineup looks as though they're ready to do some more damage. Uh, still a ways to go, but pitching's going to catch up here. Well, that's a good piece of hitting right there to take an early lead in this game. Chamberlain gets him to swing and miss for a strike. It's very early, so it may not stand up, but uh, far better to be playing with the edge. Well, that's right, Gary. I mean, they're going to try to use that edge to add some padding to this lead. And it's in time from his knees to get the out. They come out strong, putting a run on the board early. The White Sox are out in front. One. Top of the second inning. All lit up here at U.S. Cellular Field on this beautiful night for a game. Nick Swisher. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. So Curtis Granderson will come up. Already nearing the end of August, and courtesy of State Farm, let's see how the American League wildcard race is matching up. Yankees in first place, the Mariners second place, Orioles third place, fourth spot the Rays, fifth place the Royals, and it's the Blue Jays last. Oh, I've got such a great race right now for the wild card in the American League. These teams will be playing playoff baseball all the way down oh, to game 162, which has set them up nicely for playoff baseball. Comes set, now the 1-1. One, one. And that's on the outer half for a strike, one and two. Well, Going to try to make some contact in this ball game today because he swung and missed a little bit too much, striking out twice in his last game. Hut shot towards the hole, and it's through. Base hit for Granderson. Terrific opportunity game. right now for the Left Yankees. Right, he takes this 1-2 pitch down in the zone. He's able to go down and get it. Get a good part of the bat on the ball and pick up the base hit. That's a tough pitch to hit when you're behind in the count. You just want contact, and he got it. Gardner at the plate, and just barely they get him out at first. Well, that's a big first out of this inning. Now let's see if he can come back and get out of this thing unscathed. Oh! Fouled away. Washburn set and delivers. He lets that fastball go by for a called strike going to this pitcher being very aggressive throwing strikes. I think he's going to try to get him to chase. And he changed up for the strikeout. Two away. Kcam's going to show us the circle change to get a better look. Man, oh man, did he ever get caught staring? Ooh, uh, that's a brilliant change of pace pitch right there. That's a change. He looked frozen like he was waiting for that pitch to break, and it never did. And. Derek Jeter up in the top ten in hits. First pitch to Jeter. That's swung on and a liner here. And so he comes home. That ties the ball game. And Granderson will join him at the plate. Though the rally here energized every new opportunity they take advantage of. It's fouled away. Oh, Jeter trying to steal. And he's in there at second base. And a great pitch catches Robinson Cano looking. That'll be strike three. They pick up two, three hits, strand them in. Yankees leading now. They've got the momentum. And Alex Rios up. 
Number 51, Alex Rios. Chamberlain with the delivery. There's a smash towards the hole. And that's going to be a base hit for Rio. That's going to bring up A.J. Krasinski. And with a moment here, State Farm brings you a look at the teams who are hitting the long ball. The White Sox, number one. The Red Sox, second. In third, the Rangers. Jays, fourth. And at number five, it's the Angels. Well, there's a lot of power in this lineup, Gary. And I tell you, it's a nightmare for any pitcher. You know, usually you have one or two guys that can take you out of the ballpark. They have a plethora of guys who can do damage. If one doesn't get you, the next one will. Last outing for the White Sox proved to be a win. Staying very focused these last couple of weeks, they've strung together nine in a row. Anytime you have a long winning streak like these guys have, you have to be able to win on the road, and these guys are tearing it up away from home. Big swing and a miss on a heater. Strike him out one down. When you love what he did right there, there's no time wasted. Let's go right after him and sit him down. That's about keeping a hitter off balance, and he certainly did there. Well, just a hello, how you doing, and see you later. And Mark T into bat. Right there in the top five in home runs. The pitch. That ball swung on, hit high in the air, way back, warning track. Goodbye, a two-run homer. Great turnaround for him, a two-run homer. They lead by one. Runs on the board on the long ball. Contributes to the chance of winning. You bet. Here's our Pepsi WPA goal. But Gary looked like he was setting on that pitch. He got it and drove it out of the park. What they're going to want to do in this ball game now is take advantage of that and build that momentum up. Well, they need to still be aggressive out there and go right after. But a line drive towards short. They're the hitters with the highest on base percentage over the last 10 games. Brought to you by State Farm. Getting on base is a philosophy, it's a mental state, it's a really an approach, and these guys understand that. They understand they have to do whatever they can to get on. They have the toughest at bats of any hitters in the major leagues. And that'll bring Johnny Damon to the plate, one of the best batting averages in the league. Swings, ball is clobbered high, deep to left center field. Over the wall, goodbye, a two run homer. White Sox lead expanding here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. Number 10, Alexi Ramirez. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch. Oh, Chamberlain gets him to swing and miss for a strike. Well, this thing bouncing back and forth here, Gary. These two offenses seem to be keeping pressure on the opposing pitchers. A line drive towards the hole. And another hit. They're really gunning right now. And that'll bring up Hulk and Erko. Well, Alexi Ramirez's season so far. Take a look at where he ranks compared to everybody else. Third most in hits, fourth in batting average. And you can see that he's also not just a punch and Judy guy. He's a guy that slugs the ball, ranked in the top five in slugging percentage. A guy that drives the ball every time he goes to the plate. He leads the American League and runs batted in. I think Ramirez has got to be thinking about moving in this. That ball is belted deep left center. That ball is way back there. Goodbye, home run, a two-run digger. Out here, this offense has just been in control right here. Extending the lead going to make it much more difficult to catch him late. Chamberlain with the delivery. Swing and a line drive. And another hit. Oh, my, this clinic's just beginning. Look at the hit leaders for this month. It's on our State Farm leaderboard. That's going to bring Gordon Beckham up. We talk about a guy that's been absolutely unstoppable to play this series. Nine hits already, and it's not over yet. And here's the first one. Hit sharply towards the hole. And the White Sox, they just keep rolling. Number 51. Alex Rios. Here the defense needs to stop right now. They need to put up an out here. This offense just has been relentless this inning. Strike 
That fastball gets by him on the first pitch 0 and 1. Had a real strong offensive game last time out. Three big base hits. Swings hits this one very high deep to left center. Say goodbye a three run homer. With that three run homer they just extended their lead. And Phil Hughes is the pitcher. They've decided it's time to bring a new arm into this one. Well, this is clearly the right call. He didn't have it at all today. Completely lost out there. You've got to bring somebody in to stop the bleeding. Let's see if they can do it. It's going to be Przinsky. Swing sets this one pretty well. Deep right center. Can't cut it off. It's going to roll to the wall. Players with the most extra base hits around the league. It's courtesy of State Farm. And he's in at second with a double. One up. And in the batter's box, it's Tian. He homered earlier in the ballgame. Quality, productive at bats, driving in a run. And then the big home run as well. So the team's winning. He's got a big part of the production. The first pitch. Oh, swing and a miss on that curveball. It's 0 and 1. I saw the last game. He delivered in the clutch with three RBIs in that one. A big part of their offensive contribution. Line shot into center field. Oh boy, this is uh, getting a little ridiculous here. Looks like batting practice. And this is what the schedule looks like for the Yankees. They'll wrap up the series with the White Sox on Sunday. Some home cooking again. They return to host the Oakland A's. That's a team they handled all right the last time up. They'll try for a repeat performance. That series is four. Here's a swing and a ball hit high into the air, deep into right field. Goodbye, a three-run homer. They have not figured out a way how to shut down this White Sox offense today. They look so good. Johnny Damon. Nobody on base, one away. First pitch on the way to Damon. Swings a little early that time, 0 1. The career average, 275 off the Yankees. At the belt, Hughes kicks and throws. Strike two. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Veteran Damon, though, he'll cut it down and try to just poke it out there. Well, one of the things you have to do is when a pitcher makes mistakes, you have to make him pay for it. And twice last game, he did exactly that. Got pitches he could drive and took it over the wall. Able to set him down there, chalk that one up as a strikeout for him. And a shot here for Alexi Ramirez, two down. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. Swing and a ball drilled down the right field line. That one's into the corner. Goodbye, home run. They have the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. Number 14. Uh, I don't know if I'd want to be an opposing pitcher right now. This offense looks unstoppable. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss on the cutter. 0 and 1. Well, his timing is just off right now. He swung way late on that cutter. Strike Phil two. Hughes delivers strike two. Let's see what he wants to do here. Swung on, hit. And another hit. Oh my, this clinic's just beginning. That's going to bring Carlos Quentin up. Here are the bats making the noise this past month. The State Farm leaderboard batting average. All these guys have a similar trait, that ability to put the good part of the bat on the ball and make solid contact on a consistent basis. And they're willing to hit from line to line, not just being pull hitters. And out on the mound, we've got Alfredo Aceves. He's been chosen to take over out there. Well, the potential's all there for Carlos Quentin to step up and be a star. This guy has it written all over him. He's trying to work on his consistency, though. Sometimes his batting average dips down too low. But I tell you what, there's no one in the league that has more power than him. He can hit it out of the ballpark anywhere. Leading the MLB in batting average.
Boy, what an adjustment at the plate. The ball's on the inside part of the plate. He shortens his swing, clears his hands, get the fat part of the bat to the ball. A two-run homer. You're not supposed to be able to drive that pitch inside that hard and that far. He did. They have not figured out a way how to shut down this White Sox offense today. They look so good. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. Swisher's there. And that's the third out. That'll do it. They've really opened this thing up now. They've opened up a seemingly insurmountable advantage. The White Sox leading now. They've got the momentum. A look there, Joe Girardi has to be really upset right now with that last breakdown they had on the mound. They had the lead, now behind, and I mean really behind. Mark Teixeira is at the plate. In the top ten in walks, not a bad list. Fresh count on Teixeira. Here it comes. Now 0-1. Watch that fastball go by. As one of the leaders on this team in walks, he just rarely chases the ball out of the zone. He finds a way to get on base. That ball swung on, hit. Rios to field it. That's one down. Here's a look at the standings in the Eastern Division as we head towards September. Looking at the State Farm standings board. In that first spot, it's the Red Sox. Yankees in second place. Orioles third place. Rays are fourth. And it's the Blue Jays last. And now the pitch to Rodriguez. Ground ball towards second. Beckham. Yeah, two away. And here's what he puts up. Washburn set and delivered. And there's a called strike. Some guys really like the low fastball. In this situation, though, he ends up taking the pitch. Swung on and ripped towards second. And that gets down. Posada's got a base hit. The that will bring Nick Swisher up. Going around the league, the team's keeping their ERA down, courtesy of State Farm. Number one, the White Sox. Second, the Yankees. Third spot, the Red Sox. Fourth, the Mariners. And at number five, it's the Angels. Well, this has the potential to be a very low-scoring game. Two of the best pitching teams in all of baseball. I tell you what, this is when execution is critical in order to win this game. You get a guy over him, you called on the bunt, you better get that bunt down because these guys don't give up a lot of runs. So if they're giving you an opportunity to score one, you better take advantage. Swing and ooh, look out. Line drive and shatters the bat. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand it. The White Sox maintaining their lead. And Alex Rios to lead off. He had a three-run homer last time in the lineup. Look, well, Gary, the team's ahead right now, and obviously his offensive production has been a major contribution here. Driving in runs with those at-bats, and obviously the big home run, so the power stroke coming along as well. And he starts Rios out. Swings, lines this one back up the middle, and he's not able to get there. All the way to the wall. So with nobody out, he's aboard in second after that double. Oh, with that big hit right there, he only needs a triple to complete the cycle. But hey, that's the toughest one to get. Let's see if he can do it. It's going to be Przinski towards the middle. And he gets it through. That's his second hit in the ballgame. Time to look at our State Farm leaderboard. The players with the highest average with runners in scoring position. Now, clutch hitters are hard to find. It means they have to maintain their focus and control their emotions and let the game come to them. And these guys clearly get that done. First one to tee in. Here's the pitch. Hit hard to second. From his knees, got him. What a throw. But he'll hang on to that so they will get one. And he has driven home the run on that base hit. There's Jim Tomey at the plate. What a year for him. Top five in homers. Cut fastball. Swung on and missed. 0-1.
Such a consistent, productive, professional hitter. You know, one of the best bats in the lineup, Gary. Now Posada sets the target. He can't connect on that. Jim Tomei up empty on a swing. You know, sometimes in the back, you go five, six, seven pitches as they start to follow off the 0-2 count. I like that he went right at him aggressively, strikes him out on three pitches. And it's Johnny Damon. A couple of RBIs thus far. Well, the team winning, he's been a big part of the offense, driving in the run with a base hit, and then the home run where he got a pitch that he could drive out of the ballpark and capitalize on it. Strike two, no balls, two strikes. Veteran Damon, though, he'll cut it down and try to just poke it out there. Well, just way out in front of that cutter. And Johnny Damon looking at strike three. He's out of there. So they score once. The fourth inning. Look at the manager, Ozzie Guillen. Things have been going right for him. His ball club today, uh, last half inning, they proved productive. Now they're looking to expand that lead. And here's Curtis Granderson. And he gets him walked a lot. The American League has him in the top five. Swung on. That is hit. And he gets it down. He's two for two now. now and that'll bring up Brett Gardner. Left fielder, Sacrificed his last time around. A runner on first. No outs. Washburn set and delivered. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0-1. Up the middle, he snares it, Out. and Gardner retires. Too late, and he is safe at second. Here's the Central Division race with September just around the corner. Looking at the State Farm standings board, first place the White Sox, in second place it's the Royals. Third place goes to the Indians. Twins are fourth, and rounding out the list the Tigers. In the tough AL Central, we all thought the White Sox would finish down on the pack, but instead they're sitting on top and making this all look silly. Oh, and he lays off the fastball. Good pitch, 1-1. Well, that's the pitch you want for the ground ball out, that two-seam fastball at the bottom of the strike zone. Just couldn't quite catch oh. the plate. Good eye by the hitter. So they can't make the play. Well, listen, it's all about advancing base runners in the game. you got to make plays defensively, but that error cost him, and he came out of his hand wrong, and the ball sailed out. Strike, and it's even now at two. The hitter thought that ball was inside. It certainly You're wasn't out. low, and it looks like it was in there. Down on strikes there. Nice piece of pitching. So after five pitches, that strikeout's going to hold that base runner 90 feet away. Uh, the hitter took a deliberate approach at the plate, but it just didn't work out for him. Five pitches, he gets the big strikeout, leaves that runner on third base. He's one out away from getting out of this inning. And here's Derek Jeter. He's off in a walk, top five in the league. Well hit towards the middle. And Granderson well, scores. Situations repeating themselves here. A chance to produce, and they are. Love his patience at the plate. One of the best in the game at doing it. Work the pitcher. He seems to never chase the ball off the plate. And Cano ready for the first ball. Pitch. That one misses. It gets away from the catcher. And he's going to head for second. So they can't make the play. But Gary, to make the error right there, you just don't want to do that. It's just not good baseball. Ready with a 1-0. Swing and a rocket towards short. Throws to first side is retired. So they score once on two hits, one man left. Yankees make a push, but they got a long way to go. And it's Alexei Ramirez now to lead it off. Last time up, he launched one out of the park. Here's the pitch. Oh, and one. in front on that one. Strike one. 250 average lifetime. That's one for four against Alfredo Aceves. And it's 0 and 2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Well, good movement on that cutter. He had him way out on his front You're foot. Out. A swing and a miss. Alexei Ramirez is retired. Uh, Gary, so many curveballs, so little time. Don't you think? Three strikeouts on the big hook. One out, nobody on. And he starts Canerco out. Hit up the middle. And it gets down. Hit after hit. They just keep on coming. He's got four today. 
That's going to bring Carlos Quentin up. And be sure to tune in next Sunday. It'll be Alex Rodriguez and the New York Yankees. They travel to Chicago to battle the White Sox at U.S. Cellular Field. The action gets going at 2 o'clock Eastern. Well, I guess, look, if you and John are going to be at that one, I want to go do that game, too. That looks like it's going to be a good one. Runner at first with one down. The pitch. This one's grounded hard up the middle. One and two. They pull off the double play. Only five pitches to get out of that inning. That'll rest your run. We're through four in Chicago. Chance to get an expression from Joe Girardi. He knows he's going to have to get more innings like that last one and have some production to tie this one up. And this Mark Teixeira now. A very nice 3.08 career batting average for him against Jared Washburn. Head up the middle. And that gets down. Teixeira's got a single. And that'll bring up Alex Rodriguez. Third base. Number 13. He's got the most home runs in the division. Here's Rodriguez's first look. It's hit foul by Rodriguez. And Jared Washburn delivering the strike quickly up. And Rodriguez watches that one blow by strike three. A good sequence of pitches right there using location and selection to get the strike out. Headed for the middle, and that'll hold the runner at first. Up to the plate. Hey, what, Steve? That really was a great play and well worth another look. So many good things going on right there. Well executed play. Nick Swisher. He's averaged 297 lifetime off the White Sox. There's a strike of the knees, 0 1. Looks like the hitter's waiting for a pitch that he can get up in the zone to drive a little bit. That's why he went down in the zone with that four seamer. And it holds at 0 and 2. There's a swing and a liner. And that ends the half inning as Ramirez makes the play. No runs on a base hit. They leave one man on at first. The White Sox still on top. And if you just joined us, our broadcast of Major League Baseball on 2K Sports with John Kruk and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Thorne. He deals. Hot shot towards the hole. So that'll bring Alex Rios to the plate. He doubled his last time. He's just on a tear right now. He's seeing the ball so well. He's driving in runs, scoring runs, hitting home runs, doing a little bit of everything to help his team win. Here's the delivery. Swing and a miss on the cutter. 0 and 1. His career average and even 300 against the Yankees. That's a strike and it's 0 and 2. Time for Rios now to protect. That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. It's up against the wall and a bounce. There's the throw. He's on his way to the plate. And he will score. Great base run. We talked about a guy who's just wearing out the opposition. That's a four hit day for him. He is locked in. Second base occupied. Nobody out yet. First pitch on the way. Swung on and missed 0 1. On his last game, came so close to hitting for the cycle. Got the home run and the single and double, but unfortunately, just couldn't come up with a triple. Line drive. And it's in time from his knees to get the out. Tremendous play right here. It took a good arm to complete it. It's one thing to get to the ball and make the play, it's another thing to make that accurate a throw from your knees. Great job. And Mark Tiana. And one of the top ten averages right now. And he looks at a change up in the dirt for a ball. Swinging and a miss and it's now one and two. 
Oh, he's got good movement on that cut fastball, and it tailed right beyond his bat. Couldn't make contact. And Tian swings and misses, strike three. Here's the cutter coming at you. Number Here's a chance to capitalize RBI for Jim Tomey. And for RBIs, he's one of the best in the league. Here's the pitch. Fly ball deep left, but it'll end up in the seats foul. And that's a strike. Tomei is going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. He can't connect on that. Jim Tomei up empty on a swing. So they score once on two hits, one man left. White Sox continue. And here's Curtis Granderson. He had a single in his last time up. Number 28. First count on Granderson. Here it comes. It's 0-1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. Lifetime, he's one for six against Washburn. And it's 0-2. Granderson, short swinger anyway, will just look to contact here. Tough spot for the hitter. Down 0-2. You got to protect right now. Swing and a foul straight back. And another foul ball. Well, the pitcher did exactly what he wanted to do on that 0-2 count. He wanted him to swing the bat, and he did, but he just fouled it off. Great piece of hit. And that's out number one stepping in the bag. Gardner at the plate. He bounced out his last time. Washburn set and delivers. Just missed with the fastball, 1-0. A two-seam fastball is such an effective pitch. One, because it gets ground ball outs, but two, it sets up his other pitches. Now Przinski sets up. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. And Gardner retires. For this break, here are the teams that have been piling up the runs courtesy of State Farm. The White Sox, number one. The Red Sox, second. Third, the Yankees. Fourth, the Orioles. And for the Blue Jays, they are in fifth. Well, when you have two teams that pick each other Strike up one. on a consistent basis, that's why you see these teams at the top of the leaderboard in the runs batted in department. They love the fact that they can hit with runners in scoring position, but they also have the ability to get on base, and when they do, they can hit in the clutch. That's why these two teams are two of the best in baseball. And the one-two delivery from Washburn. Change up got him, and the side is retired. And a good half inning there, gone in short order in this one. The White Sox still ahead. It'll be the leadoff man trying to get things going here. There's a familiar face, Isaac Gian looking up. Satisfied manager, I think, right now. He's got the ball club in a pretty good spot. And it's Johnny Damon. And uh, at the plate. One of the tops and runs scored. Top five. Strike two. Swung on and missed. Strike two. And here's the pitch. Swing deep into right center field. Way, way back there. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. Springer on the mound. He's coming on in relief for the Yankees. I'm sure they didn't set out thinking, hey, let's pitch all our bullpen guys this early in the game. What do you think, Gary? I don't know. They need this guy to hold down the fort and see if he can't give him some innings. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. He's out. That's one away. Number 14. And here's Paul Canerco. He's looking to make it a perfect five for five here. Well, they find themselves ahead of this one, and obviously two big at bats from him so far in the game driving in a run with a base hit and then the home run driving the ball out of the ballpark so getting his pitches and doing some damage can't connect it's all in one the pitch swing and a miss he's behind 0 and 2 there's a swing and a ball hit high deep to right field goodbye home run to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. Nobody on 
second base, one away. First pitch to Quinton. Swing sends this one on the line to right center. Off the wall on a hop. And he pulls into second base. That will be a double. And Beckham's in the box. A career 267 number off the Yankees. Now the first pitch. Line towards second. And Cano with the catch. Now the runner will have to hold it second. So Alex Rios will try and keep it going. Double homer run in his last at bat. Slider swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Well, Gary, this guy has an outstanding slider. Such a tough pitch to hit. He almost needs a turn signal when he gets to the plate. Here it comes. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. This is a one hopper off the wall. He throws. And Quinton's home. Now batting. You have to take a look at one here that probably should have ended at first pitch. Well, he had the burners on coming out of the batter's box, rounding first base. Great aggressiveness on his part. He didn't let up, and he gets in safely. No indecision when he got to first base. That's how you get in safely to second. First pitch. That's on that off-speed pitch, but can't connect on one. For his career, 254 against the Yankees. Here's a swing, a fly ball deep down the line and right. Swisher's there. And that one's put away to retire the side. But they strike for three runs here thanks to two home runs in the inning. White Sox continue to run away with this ballgame. Derek Jeter will lead it off. Single home a run in his last at bat. First pitch to Jeter. And he tries to lay off, does, but it's a called strike, nothing in one. Washburn set and delivers. Oh. And Jeter watches that one go by. The count is even. Look, Gary, with this big a lead here in the seventh inning, it's incumbent upon the pitcher to throw strike strikes. Get outs right now. In there for strike two. Well, he just plain old fooled him right there. He must have been looking for something else. Hit his spot perfectly with that change. The one two pitch. Oh. And it remains one and two. Swung on, that is hit. And it gets down a three for four game. Good hitting job. That'll bring up Robinson Cano. We talk about a guy who's swinging a pretty hot bat right now. His third hit of this ball game, and it comes with nobody out in the inning. Well, Yankees coming in off a loss. That series for them, they ended up losing one game to two against the Blue Jays in Toronto. Well, these guys are focusing on each and every game, and I like how they've kept right at the division race, even with a lot of games left. Now just one game out of first place. Started to go around. That pitch is in there anyway. 0-2. Hard ground at a short. Fantastic now, chance here. For the New York Yankees, first base, number 25, Mark Teixeira. Well, that pitch down and away is the toughest in the game to hit. A perfect pitch from the pitcher. Great piece of hitting. And keep that in mind. Next time around, we'll see whether or not he changes up and how he throws to this guy. And it gets down. Jeter will try and bring it home. There's the throw. And Jeter comes home. Production. Oh, the Yankees have found it and they're keeping it going. Get to take a look at one here that probably should have ended at first base. Well, he had the burners on coming out of the batter's box and rounding first base. Great aggressiveness on his part. He didn't let up and he gets in safely. No indecision when he got to first base. That's how you get in safely to second. No outs, runners at second and third. Washburn set and delivered. Rodriguez taking that one. It's in there. 
Well, if he can throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. Straight away left. And it gets through as Rodriguez drives in the run. Boy, this now lineup, the they are hot right the now. Game. The chances, they are productive. Number 20, Jorge Posada. They're just teeing off right now. Four straight hits, and clearly this offense is locked in. Runners at the corners with no one out. Here's the pitch to Posada. Swung on and missed 0 and 1. No balls, one strike, Washburn. And with two strikes on him now, Posada needs to protect. This is the go to pitch for many pitchers in the major league. The fastball down and away. When in doubt, that's where you go. Down on strikes there. A nice piece of pitching. RBI chance now, Nick Swisher. Lined out last time up. First pitch to Swisher. Takes that first pitch low in the strike zone. Strike one. It's a nice location with that fastball down in the zone. If he makes contact, it's going to be a ground ball. Looks at a ball. One and one. Well, he went with the changeup right there, but he kept it up in the strike zone. He's lucky the hitter laid off of that one. Line shot into center field. And it gets down as Teixeira crosses the plate. You gotta like the aggressiveness the on the bases right Better there. He was thinking third base all the way. As soon as he saw it go through the infield, he said, I'm going to third. First count on Granderson. Here it comes. And that's in for a strike. Now, good life on this fastball as he just buries it down and away. Swung on and missed. Strike two. Washburn set and delivers. And it's in well off the bat of Granderson. And that one's down, so the Yankees will get one. You get repeat opportunities. The question is what you do with it. What they're doing with it here is using it. Well, a guy that just continues to swing the bat well in this ballgame. Three hits right now so far. And it comes with one out in the inning. Can it start a rally? And we'll get to see Tony Pena pitching. As the White Sox bring him in as a reliever. Well, it's about time. I mean, I don't know what they weren't Strike seeing one. from the dugout. They should have gotten out of this game a lot earlier. Ground ball towards the second baseman. Over to second for one. Decides not to try for the double play. Hangs on to it. Well, he gets it done. Brings that run home. Greg Olson. I tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. And that brings up Derek Jeter. It's the little things that come into play. What I like is the great secondary lead that allowed him to go first to third. Now hit up the middle. Fielded by Ramirez. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. Boy, a manager loves to see this. They strike for an enormous inning. Yankees make a push, but they got a long way to go. We'll be looking to the leadoff batter later on in this inning. Another A.B. Third baseman, number 25, Mark Tian. And here's Mark Tian leading it off. He homered earlier in the ball game. It's nice to have a bat like this in the lineup because as you're going through the game, you know you've got a chance to score runs every time he comes to the plate. Hits it out of the ballpark. He's driving the ball. He's doing a little bit of everything. And that's a strike. Well, maybe someone ought to have him step out for just a minute. He went after one in the dirt. 
You're Swing out. and a miss. Gets away. He's heading for first. Oh, oh and he's got it over to first base, and they get the out. Now, great catching. He's earning his money behind the plate today. Chasing that ball in the dirt, blocking it, and getting the runner out just in time. That could be a great way to start the offense if you can get a runner like that on, because that's really a steal when you do. One out, nobody on. The first pitch. Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect on one. Pitch on the way. Tommy will foul that one away. Now Posada sets the target. He can't connect on that. Jim Tomei up to empty on a swing. For the Chicago well, that's what you want is efficiency. You always want to try to retire a hitter on three pitches or less. If you can get him to strike out, you'll take that too. First pitch on the way to Damon. Swings and misses the slider. 0-1. Well, they need a shutout, shutout inning right here to get back in there and score some runs. And at least looking like they got a chance to get through it without giving up some runs. Oh man, there's the big bender. Struck him outside, retired. And they're unable to make any noise here in this half inning. And the Yankees, it'll be their turn coming up. Chance to get an expression from Joe Girardi. And uh, tough decisions, maybe, or maybe not. This bench needs some inspiration. He'll try to give it to him. He makes contact, line drive. Now that will bring up Mark Teixeira. A lot of tough First teams in the American League. Let's take a look at where the Yankees sit right now in the rankings. First in strikeouts, second in batting average, and they're the number two team in hits. This is a lineup that gets men on base by putting the ball in play and making contact. Now over to first and safe at first. Close play, not quite enough time to get him. There's one on. Here's Alex Rodriguez. Drove in a run earlier in the game. Here's Rodriguez's first look. This one's grounded hard up the middle. And there's one. And the double play, they got a vote. Well, that's one way to keep the pitch count down. They wrap that inning up with three pitches. The White Sox still ahead. Yeah, they're losing a little bit in the defensive department with this change. It may be geared more toward offense. It's just odd to make this move right now. Fastball swung out and missed. Stone one. Here's the pitch. There's a swing and a drive. Deep right field. It's back towards the wall, and he still puts it away. And Paul Canerco to bat. Last time up, he launched one out of the park. Gary, he's so fun to watch with a bat in his hand. I mean, he gives the home runs, but he also delivers in other situations. Let's see if they can figure out a way how to stop him. There's a swing and a liner towards the gap in left field. This is a one hopper off the wall. And he's in at second with a double. One out. Number 20, Carlos Quinton. Oh, he just continues to absolutely scald the ball. Six hits in this one. One out with a runner at second. He deals. One way long enough for that one, and he starts out with the strike. Here's the pitch. A smash to first. And he gets it through again. What a tremendous day at the plate now. That's five hits. Now breaking down Carlos Quentin's season so far. Let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. First in batting average. First in hits. And he's also leading the league in home runs. That power bat, that ability to hit it out of the ballpark. A major power threat every time he comes to the play. Swung on and missed. Strike one. There's a bullet towards third. And that gets down. And Conerco to cross the plate. Clearly, he's 
starting to wear down out there. Three straight hits against him. He doesn't have the velocity or the fight on his pitches that he had earlier in the game. And Kevin Gregg gets ready to throw. He's coming on in relief for the Yankees. And he gets going against these White Sox hitters. What do you think's in store? Well, Kevin Gregg's a veteran reliever, a guy who can come in and get the big bats out with a power fastball, a split, and a slider. He has all the pitches necessary to shut down the lineup. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Time for Rios now to protect. Well, great movement on that two-seamer right there. Had him way out on his front foot. So Rios is set down, and they score him. Let's take a look at the teams leading the league in home runs on our State Farm leaderboard. Number one, the White Sox. Red Sox second. Third spot, the Rangers. Fourth, the Jays. And at number five, it's the Angels. A lot of power in this lineup, and that doesn't just mean they have a lot of big, strong guys. It means they have the right approach at the plate. They're getting a lot of hitters counts, 2-0, 3-1 counts, and they're capitalizing, looking for a pitch, and driving. Ground ball, Rodriguez. And another hit. They're really gunning right now. Well, he's having a heck of a day so far. Just third hit of the game in this one. He just can't seem to find an answer for him. First one to tee in. Here's the pitch. Hit hard on the ground to short. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. So they pick up four hits in the inning and two runs across. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. Taking account of the ball game, there's Ozzy Guillen. Great game his club has put together. Things have gone really well. And the first pitch. First pitch way out of the zone ball one. Well a non safe situation right here in the ninth inning and they just want to get outs right now. Try to get the first out of the inning. Take away hope as the other team needs to score a bunch of runs. Get an out. You can really deflate them. Obviously uh, you know winning big right now. You just want to go out there make plays throw strikes force them to try to put multiple hits together to get back into this game. And it's Nick Swisher at the plate. Had an RBI single his last time to the plate. Strike one, Pena evens the count. 1-1 one, one pitch. That ball swung on, hit. Rios to field it. It's down, a base hit. Here's the Central Division race with September just around the corner. Looking at the State Farm standings board. It's the White Sox in first. Second place, the Royals. Third place goes to the Indians. In the fourth spot, it's the Twins. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. The Chicago White Sox on fire right now, back from the dead. They couldn't do anything right before, and now they're doing everything right. Called strike, and he's behind now. 0 oh, and 2. Fouled away. Oh. And he fouls off another one. Well, the battle starts when you step in the batter's box, but the real battle starts when the count is 0-2, and that's where he sees himself. But give him credit. He's keeping himself alive by fouling off that tough 0-2 pitch on the outside part of the plate. Let's see if he can make the pitcher make a mistake. Here's the delivery. Fastball in there. Struck him out on number two. Well, that's paint in the black right there. He just throws it to the outside corner exactly where they want it to get the punch out. Gardner at the plate. 364 lifetime number against the White Sox. And the first pitch. Oh, and one. Strike Pena two. with a strike two. Good pitch. Well, it, you might as well just pack it in. If a guy can consistently throw this kind of pitch oh. down and away, it's going to be very effective. Swing soft liner towards right center. And it's through. That's a base hit. Swisher trying for third. Terrific opportunity right now for the Yankees. Boy, I don't know on that count state, number one, the fact that he swung is kind of a surprise. I don't know how he hit that where it was. You're right. On an 0-2 count, you have to protect the plate. Sometimes it's a defensive swing, but sometimes it works out. 
He's at 0-2. He watched that fastball that was in there. Swung on, hit on the ground. And on to first for out number three, and that's going to do it. White Sox win this in a lopsided victory, dominating performance, Gary. And we come to that point of our broadcast where we honor the Pepsi Clutch performance. Great mound work, Jared Washington. Well, you know, Gary, there's no way you can win baseball games without great starting pitching, and he came through in this one with the most important performance of the game, and that's basically the definition of what it takes to be the Pepsi Clutch performer of the game. Steve, it seemed like they knew from the get-go they had it. This was going to be their day, and they were right. Uh, you and I like the close games just because there's a little more intrigue for all nine innings, but the hometown fans, they like the offensive explosion and the big win. So for Steve Phillips and John Cruck, I'm Gary Thorne. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you soon.